Hi there, it's Rachel with Kent County Veterans Services. Uh, today I am joined by Eric Nelson from the United Veterans Council of Kent County. Hey Eric, how are you? I am just fine. It's a nice snowy afternoon. So just to let you know, you, you introduced me as Eric Nelson of the United Veterans Council. I just happened to be the commander of it for the past couple of years. Um, just somebody that kind of keeps track of things. The purpose of the uh, Kent County Council of the or United Vet Veterans Council of Kent County is basically to disseminate information for the good of veterans in our area in Kent County. Um, what that means is we sit on a whole bunch of committees. We have people membership that are part of committees that are advocates for the veterans in Kent County. That's amazing. I've been lucky enough to go to a few of these meetings to kind of sit in and I always learn so much about what's going on in our area. Um, and I've got to meet a lot of cool people too. Um, and I know you guys have a Facebook page um, and I'll share that on our Facebook page, but it's nice to be able to keep up in real time on what's going on too. Yes, that's what we try to do. Uh, Facebook, um, I became an administrator you know, a couple of weeks ago and what I try to do on there, other than you know, give out information on, on general, um, if, a, if a, one of our membership uh, organizations, member organizations, if they send something uh, to me or I find it someplace, I will put their activities out on the uh, on our Facebook page. So if somebody is out looking for a dinner to go to, uh, they can find some place for that. And by doing that, they're actually um, helping out that organization fund things they do for veterans. Right. Yeah, it's I can tell you've been posting a lot more lately. It's great to see more things going on in our community. Yes, um, in our, in our we're we're doing today, it now. Pardon? Yeah, we're talking today about uh, the Veteran of the Year Banquet. Did I say that right? Yes, it's yes. Veteran so of the Year Banquet. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, we do it yearly, and it started out uh, forever ago that uh, we within our own membership organizations, and there are somewhere around 40 organiza organizations that in our group, but we look around, we get nominations for somebody that has done an outstanding job of working for veterans uh, for their good. And it is a volunteer basis. It's not that they're, they have a job to do that. They just do it on their own out of the goodness of their heart. This year, uh, what we've done is we've realized that we have associate members also. We have about 12 associate groups, okay. and we're doing the same thing. We're also adding an award for a person from one of our associate member groups and acknowledging that person's uh, volunteer work towards the good of veterans. And one more thing, we have what we call the uh, Raising Up Veterans award and that's for somebody that isn't necessarily a veteran not in a, any part of our group um, but that person does so much as a volunteer for veterans we want to honor them too so this year we will be actually having three awards that's amazing you know there is so much good being done you know in in the world in our area and i think it's so great that we get to honor more people at this year's banquet Yes, it's, so it's when that, is the banquet this year? Uh, the banquet is basically March 26. Okay. Um, we're going to have it at the American Legion Post 154. Okay. Easiest way to say it is it's just north of uh, 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 whatever Byron Center and Porter Street out oh, in okay. Wyoming Park. So it's been there for years. It's got a big tank out front, so it's easy to find. Very nice. Okay. Well, great. Is there anything else that you can think of that maybe um, whoever is watching would should know about this year's banquet? Well, I tell you, it starts at 6 p.m. Kind okay. of get, get together, uh, meet your friends type thing. Okay. And then at seven o'clock, we have the dinner. Okay. And then uh, the cost of a ticket is only $15. Okay. That $15 does not even cover the cost of putting this event on. Okay. Uh, we have people that are within our organization that have actually donated their funds uh, because 
we have the cost and we want to keep the cost of the tickets down because we want to enjoy your company. Yeah, and we want more people to to come and experience this great night and, and honor these great people. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to kind of go over this. This is my first year being involved um, in the banquet, and I'm just excited to get the word out. So thank you for your time. And thank you for yours. Have a good night. You too.